used to our dry heat so far this June, and now of course it's early July. It's time for our seasonal weather pattern shift known as the monsoon. That's when we're able to tap into moisture from the Gulf of Mexico or down to our south in the Gulf of California. So the months of July, August and September offer up more humidity and that means more storms. We live here in the Mojave, Mojave Desert, so obviously we don't have a lot of rain, uh, but during the monsoon season, on average, we pick up uh, about an inch. Now, some years when the monsoon is uh, extra vigorous, you know, the record is four inches. That's a year's worth of rain that happened in 1984 in just that short monsoon season. This I thought was very interesting. 64% of our top 25 heaviest rain events have happened during the monsoon season. So although we're not guaranteed to have a ton of heavy rain during the monsoon, we often do. Now we don't have any rain to show you right now on 13 First Alert Desert Doppler. During the monsoon, the storms most often flare up in the afternoon heat. That is starting to occur uh, out in the rim country of northern Arizona. And some of those showers by Flagstaff could eventually mosey on into southern Nevada. But that would be uh, late afternoon at the earliest. This is 6 p.m. Stray shower down south across the California line. A couple of showers working through Laughlin and Bullhead City by the late afternoon and any of those could possess uh, some dangerous lightning. It looks like we could see some brief but heavy downpours over toward the Arizona uh, Nevada line as we talk about the late afternoon. This evening, anything that's out there would be fizzling, but there's a small chance after 9 or 10 p.m. of a stray light shower drifting toward the valley. It doesn't seem like there's a great chance, though, of catching more than a stray sprinkle late this evening and tonight. When you wake up tomorrow morning, lots of cloud cover. It's going to look and feel different tomorrow morning with the clouds and the big increase in humidity that will occur primarily this evening into tonight. Now, tomorrow midday, showers try to pop up over the mountains. There is a small chance that we could catch one of those showers here in the valley tomorrow afternoon. On Sunday, the coverage of those spotty showers does look a little more impressive as we slide into the afternoon. Today, though, the big story is still the heat. It's 102 right now at McCarran. We'll cruise to 111 degrees this afternoon, and it does look like our weather timeline is going to keep it very, very warm. Even a couple hours after dark at 10 p.m., it's still 100 degrees. You see the cloud cover increasing. Uh, those are the remnants of those Arizona showers moving our way. So the clouds and the humidity really increased this evening and tonight. Low medium pollen levels right on through your weekend, so the allergy forecast not too oppressive. Our temperatures with the clouds and the increase in humidity will drop toward 105 this weekend. It'll still feel very hot because of that added mugginess. Dana, a few isolated storms possible Saturday and Sunday. The mugginess gets worse Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, so I think storms perhaps even a little more likely through the middle of next week.